Two 50-metre multi-mission offshore patrol vessels are being constructed to enhance law enforcement capabilities of the Philippine government. Philippine shipbuilder Josefa Slipway is building a new class of multi-mission offshore vessels for the Philippine Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources BFAR. The vessel below, the future BRP Datu Bago, appears to be smaller than the 50 meters Lapu Lapu class but larger than the 30 meters Datu Kabilo class. The vessels are intended to perform patrol, surveillance, monitoring, protection, law enforcement and combating illegal fishing in territorial waters of the Philippines. They can also be used for disaster relief, rescue as well as for seaborne research operations. We estimate it to be around 40 meters long, and we are not sure if this is the first ship in its class. If it does, we can assume that it will be part of a new class called the Datu Bago class. 50 meters multi-mission vessel design and capacities The vessel features a mono-hull made from steel and is classified by Philippine Maritime Industry Authority, Marina. Its overall and waterline lengths are 50.5 meters and 48 meters respectively. Draft of the hull is 1.95 meters and the maximum draft is 3.2 meters. The vessel has full load displacement of 120,000 kilograms and operational lightship dead weight of approximately 45,500 kilograms. With a maximum dead weight of roughly 220,000 kilograms, the vessel can carry up to 60 crew members, 55,000 L of fresh water, 148,000 L of fuel, and 8,000 L each of grey water and black water. The design also appears to have come from Australian ship designer Inkit Crowther, who also designed the Lapu Lapu and Datu Kabilo classes for BFAR. While BFAR owns the vessel, the Philippine Coast Guard will engage in cooperation of the vessel with BFAR, Department of Agriculture personnel. Surprisingly, BFAR and PCG are not the only institutions involved in shipbuilding, and perhaps the same is true for other classes of ships. We cannot name which agencies at this time, but they are definitely part of the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea.